Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I'm here at the gold farm. Woohoo! And it might look a little different. Let's uh let me show you what's going on. So I put in drop shoots. Whoa! Hey dude, how are you? Ah, thank you. Okay, there's another little guy over here. The little magma cubes are kind of annoying because they don't even drop any magma cream. Uh, unlike the slimes. Okay, so drop shoots going from each of the little drop areas. For the most part, the pigments stick to them. Unless you're down here and staying off to the side, then they get sometimes pushed off to the side. Oh, another magma cube may be going to fall down. And I put hoppers. Boop, boop, boop. And uh, little slabs left a little space for the experience to come out because I still have to figure that out. And on each of these, I put in a little bit of redstone. So the, the, the hoppers lead down into a dropper that's facing down. So you can kind of see. And then I have a little, oh, hello. You came to visit. Bop. Oh, thank you. More magma cream. Which I guess I can make now. But, okay, there we go. So, each one of these, the dropper points down, and there's a little clock, so when stuff gets in there, it drops down, and uh, and I figure instead of running a hopper chain from four different spots down 100 blocks each, which would be kind of annoying, what I would do is just let gravity work for me and just spit him out of a dropper and pick him up in a hopper down here. Now, it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world, but I think it'll be just fine. And uh, what I wanted to show you was how I did that. And then each one, each of the four of them feed into a hopper chain, go through a chain of hoppers, and feed into a sorter. And then on the back side here, I have another, the overflow flows into a dropper here, same circuit, spits the, uh, the whatever is not filtered out explicitly. So I've got, let's see here if I can show you easily. I've got gold nuggets, gold ingots, and zombie flesh. Everything else, which is basically the gold swords, will end up over here and get spit down here into a block of lava. I don't have the lava in yet because I haven't run a full system test and I want to do that. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got some glass and do I want to do this from here? No, I do not. Hang on a second. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to build this drop tube here. It's, it's a little tedious. I'm doing it with glass just because it will look, uh, uh, it'll look nice and um, and I put a, a half slab over the hopper that actually collects the things so that nothing spawns on it hang on a second um, Vex is talking and I want to talk to him uh, but let me this is super grindy so I'm just gonna kind of do this and uh, we will I'll be right back with you <laughs> Ooh, that's a long way down I don't know if I actually have enough glass. I may have to go get some more. Nope, I do not have enough glass. Okay, well, let me go fix that. This is going to be even more tedious. How much more do I need? That's, uh, what, uh, about four. Four times eight, about 20. So another stack of glass should be fine. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, let's just finish this off here. So I know this is probably a little wasteful. I could probably get away with less glass than this. And I, of course, it doesn't have to be glass, but you know, I think it looks nice. It's sticking with the theme. Everything is red and yellow, uh, blue and yellow glass and purple blocks. I think are a combination that looks good in the nether. Um, blue and yellow glass look good together. Of course, they contrast nicely. 
Um, and I like the per. I think the purple -pur block is nice and visible. So I think, uh, in theory, we are all complete here. So let me do a little bit of unit testing, and uh, we shall see if we're ready to do a full run of of the system. Got all those blocks back. Cool. So the way I'm going to do that is. I've got some I've got some blocks here that are uh, boop and we'll just take all these and I'll bring some blue glass just in case and I'll bring some slabs just in case all right I'm gonna climb up to the uh, the drop floor and I'll be right back with you okay so the way I'm gonna test this is by taking out sure this is my silk touch pick taking out a block of glass here and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're gonna throw stuff down I'm gonna throw down stuff that we might get from drops and stuff that we won't why did that pop back in my okay so now I got shot down the tube well, let's go check the sorter sorry magma cube don't have time to play right now so go all the way down here woo, into the hopper there and through the hopper and into the sorter so I should have gold ingots and gold nuggets in the sorter chest and then underneath this dropper here I should have the other stuff I put in the magma cream and oh, the other I don't remember what the other one was so for ingots and there should be four nuggets and there should be three ingots woohoo okay so I know the sorter works I did test it before I've done extensive testing I just want to make sure that all these hoppers were hooked up correctly and back here we have magra cream and lapis Ooh, nice okay so that means I think we're okay I want to, I'm super nervous about screwing this up so I am going to do one more test, but it's going to be a live test, and we will see how it goes. Okay, so if XFX is off exploring the world and filling out a map wall, so this might not go the best in the world, but... Gosh, that's loud. Let's turn that down somehow. Okay, so they go down. I want a few more than that. Uh, hi, dudes. You want to join the party? There you go. Okay, so one thing that we should notice is that the entity count should not go up nearly as quickly because there aren't going to be uh, all kinds of drops laying around down there. And, um, yeah, this is good. Okay. So, the entities that are there are, of course, the pig men running around and the experience orbs. Okay. This is very good. And my internet is holding up okay. This is usually pretty hard on, on my ping. Okay, so let's go check it out, see what's going on. No magma creams. Oh, there's one there. Magma cubes. Okay, so notice, aren't a lot of drops laying around, and instead I can get all kinds of experience just by sitting here. Come on, you can repair the pick. Ugh, okay. And what else do I need to repair? Let's let's get it all taken care of. Um, okay, so you see there are some drops laying back there. Um, this guy needs repairing. Oh, all repaired. Nice. Cool. VexFX is heading over. So you see there are some drops over here. Big men going off the side there. I don't know if that's worth worrying about or not. Um, for the most part, standing up there, it's not going to happen. They're going to try and pathfind to the platform there. 
and uh, should for the most part they should go down the drop tubes uh, periodically they might they might kind of get pushed off the sides you can deal with that okay and occasionally they will miss the uh, the platforms okay come on pick up all the orbs I don't really need the experience there we go okay let's run down boop all right and looks like yeah awesome very good okay swords i don't need these swords all right so let's uh let's get rid of a couple of these boop 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 i wish cold and swords were more useful Okay, and then over here, we should have, oh, gold ingots, or gold nuggets, gold ingots, and zombie flesh. Nice, and that was only on for a little bit. Um, okay, so we have lava bucket. Oh, let's, uh, let's put that away. Boop. And let's put this away. Boop. And I need a piece of purple and some glass. All right, so let's go finish this off. Boop. And then the lava goes right there. Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay, so those go there. And then uh, I can I can toss the rest of these swords in there carefully. Because we don't need to accidentally throw my diamond sword in there. Because that would kind of suck. And they'll just go away so they won't be sitting around we won't have to wait for them to despawn we won't have to they won't be adding to the entity count nice okay and okay cool so now now we're all done so let me let's see what happens here uh, VexFX is going to is going to attack the pigmen and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll see some action down here. Why is that experience sitting over there? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Drops. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Okay. So let's uh, let's go up there and uh get a little bit oh there goes some uh, gold swords very nice all right let's see what it it's the farm should work better when i'm up here um and there's isn't room down below for the gas and pigment to be spawning down there so obviously uh the next step is figure out a way of transporting the uh, experience orbs up oh this is going to get loud uh, transport the experience orbs up to the platform up there. Um, okay, so we have a few that are missing. But you know what? That's not the worst thing in the world. Very cool. Oh, nice. So we have a few drops that miss. And I could actually help that by expanding the drop pads just with additional hoppers around. That would help pick up more of the drops. But honestly, if, if the occasional nugget or zombie flesh uh, misses and despawns, it's not that big of a deal. The main goal here is to get gold. 
and the vast majority of it will be transported down below. I think there will be the occasional missed drop, but not that big of a deal. And with somebody down on the platform down here, they're going to come off the sides to uh, try and they're going to try and pathfind me down here, or they'll get pushed off if they if they uh, linger at the sides. But that's pretty cool. Very excited about this. Been procrastinating building this. Um, obviously, there's still there's still the step of uh, bouncing the the experience orbs up, and I have to play around with methods of doing that. Pretty, it should be pretty straightforward. Put some uh, uh, pistons back here that occasionally trigger and push the slimes along uh, along ice, and then when they get in towards the center, there have more pistons pushing them up, bouncing them up, but. Right now, it's not that big of a deal if you have to wander down a little bit to to pick up the experience orbs every every few minutes. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but when we get that working, then it'll be a fully AFKable uh, golden and, uh, and and XP farm, which is pretty awesome. So there we go. Oh, this is great. So just wanted to show you that. Um, I'm going to test it a little bit and nice clean up clean up my little detritus here and then and uh, I think that'll be it so anyway uh, I think that's it for now thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye